an underwater adventure. Beneath the Mediterranean, history beckons. Divers race against the clock to save remnants of a lost empire. But danger lurks in the deep. Could this really be the seventh wonder of the world? It's very beautiful. Treasures of the sunken city. Twenty-three centuries ago, Alexander the Great founded a magnificent city in Egypt on the shores of the Mediterranean Sea. It was called Alexandria. Today, little remains of his ancient capital. But in the harbor, there lies astonishing evidence of a glorious past. Some believe that these are remnants of the city's most spectacular monument. A structure so incredible, it was declared one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The Lighthouse of Alexandria. It amazed the world for centuries until a catastrophic earthquake brought it crashing down. After its collapse, a medieval fortress was built over the ruins. All signs of the ancient building seemed to disappear. The Egyptian military restricts diving along the Mediterranean, so the intriguing evidence on the ocean floor has been off-limits to archaeologists. Until now. The government is constructing a new breakwater to protect the harbor. Every day a barge drops several tons of concrete onto the ancient stones. Within a few months, the unexplored ruins could be destroyed. Archaeologists and activists join forces to make an urgent appeal to the authorities. As a result, permission is granted for a full-scale excavation. After 600 years of mystery, the underwater search for the seventh wonder of the world is about to begin. Before today, only a handful of divers have ever gotten a glimpse at the stones on the seabed. Now, a small regiment of 30 French and Egyptian archaeologists, artists and map makers will explore the site. The team will examine every inch of the area, looking for evidence of Alexandria's long-lost lighthouse. One of the divers is Egyptologist Jean-Pierre Cotigiani. As he gets his first look at the site, Jean-Pierre is stunned by the disorder that covers five acres of the sea floor. The first dive was, it was very impressive because it's a kind of huge chaos of uh, 100 and 100 blocks mixed together with some shells, with a lot of fishes all around. 
it was a strange impression because the water is almost never very, very clear. So uh, uh, probably the first impression was, I understand nothing. The man responsible for making sense of the chaos is very familiar with Alexandria's ancient mysteries. French archaeologist Jean-Yves Empereur has spent the last five years excavating land sites in the city's urban center. Each dig brings new surprises. When we begin a rescue excavation, we don't know what we shall find, but we know that everywhere we shall dig, we shall find something. And sometimes it's very well preserved, but everywhere you will find something in Alexandria. Jean-Yves is uncovering, literally, the foundations of Alexandria. A city built on Egyptian soil, but designed and governed by Greeks. When Alexander the Great conquered Egypt in 332 BC, he selected a site on the northern coast for his new capital. Alexandria soon became the most powerful city in the Mediterranean world. After Alexander's death, Egypt and its capital were governed by a series of Greek rulers. In the tradition of the great god kings of ancient Egypt, they called themselves pharaohs. The most famous of all, Cleopatra. In the 1963 film epic, Elizabeth Taylor became one of a long line of beautiful actresses to portray the ill-fated queen. 